I applied for the SDP because, um, firstly, because of my interest in science, and I wanted after university I wanted to continue um, exploring uh, scientific disciplines. Um, I also really like the idea of healthcare science, but in particular, I guess I applied for bioinformatics because um, I thought there was a lot of scope for it to to change in the coming years. I thought if I was reading about it, and I felt like it was quite an up and coming thing. Um, obviously be doing a lot of work with sort of genetic genome data um, and I found that really exciting. In terms of the research I did before applying to the SDP, I guess the answer to that is I did quite a lot. The last half of my time at university I was deliberately doing things to try and uh, that would help me boost my application when the time came. My training mainly involves um, work-based learning so a large proportion of um, what I do is based in a genetics department. The main aim of my job is to um, sort of streamline data analysis, um, in particular analysis of genetic data. Um, and that's what I'm kind of working towards. So that, that involves things like uh, computer programming. Um, so that's just one aspect of it. There's also, um, I'm also required to learn a lot about genetics and sort of the science that underpins the need for um, the data analysis. Um, there's also another large component, which is a, a master's component. Um, so the master's I'm undertaking at the moment is called Clinical Bioinformatics and I'm doing that at the University of Manchester and that essentially involves um, university assignments as you'd expect but you also go on block release um, where you attend university lectures for a week or two weeks or sometimes even three weeks um, and that's, that's really good because it keeps it varied and it's also very relevant to the, the actual work you do in your department. So to, to maintain a good work-life balance, um, it, I initially found it quite difficult um, in a sense that <laughs> I just started this fantastic programme and I just wanted to keep going and going and going and just try to get through everything um, as quickly, well not as quickly, but as well as I could. To, to sort of manage that, I, I just took a step back and essentially I worked on um, project management skills. So um, sort of planning um, is the main one, or thinking ahead, um, trying to think what will I need to be doing next, when do I need to get that finished by. After the STP, my plans are ideally I'd like to stay in healthcare. Um, obviously it's quite a dynamic um, environment and, um, and that might require myself to move around, uh, move to different places. Um, so I, yeah, I'd like to stay in healthcare. I'm also interested in education, so um, I might see if there are things uh, available in sort of health education England, for example, um, or different aspects, but primarily my goal is going to be um, focusing on healthcare science um, because I think it's really worthwhile.